Hey guys and welcome to Words at Scale. So one of the main challenges when it comes to AI copywriting is getting the outcomes or the outputs rather to be actually correct, factual and up to date. And we know that with the majority of the copywriters it is a huge problem since their training database only goes so far. And just to exemplify this point here, let's go to the chat GPT and ask this amazing tool, what is the price of Bitcoin now? And here it is, I'm sorry, but I'm not able to browse the internet and do not have access to current pricing information. My training data only goes up until 2021. So ChatGPT, as it is right now, is unable to analyze current events, but we'll fix that. And Kateb, one of the tools that I advocate, has the Kateb Plus Incredible Writer templates, uh, which are quite amazing, but it is a paid tool and I promise to show you a free way. So what I want to do is to introduce a tool to you, which is called perplexity.ai. What it does, it searches Google for your query and returns the top four results then summarizes them with reference and this way you can double check all of your references you can make sure that your outputs are correct um, and it is very niche dependent i mean if you are writing about manifestation or personal development you can go without fact checking and actual information as long as it doesn't cross over to health issues and medical conditions this you want to fact check but some general information of how to improve yourself or how to manifest this and that doesn't have to be fact-checked. But with other niches like crypto, for example, you want to be fact-checked for many reasons. So let's try an example of mine. So I have these four questions ready. What is RSI, which is an indicator used in trading? Who invented RSI? How is RSI calculated? And what are some of the popular RSI strategies of 2022? So each of these has to be double checked and I used to play around with different uh, copywriters and ask them who invented RSI and the outcomes were hilarious like uh, they were all over the place so you'd better fact check it but let's try perplexity so the first one is what is RSI and again the way it works it analyzes Google these are the top four cited websites which are Investopedia, Yahoo Finance, Fidelity, and Corporate Finance Institute. And these are all very trustworthy sites with high domain authority. And the way Perplexity works, again, it summarizes everything from those four resources. And the amount of numbers here represents the amount of sources that back up a certain claim. So for example, when we say it measures the speed and magnitude of an asset's recent price, and we have three and four. This means that this is a synthesized version of sites of what sites three and four say. And the more numbers you have after a certain paragraph or a certain sentence, the more viable it is. So for example, uh, this sentence only has one source and it is a very credible source. So I'm okay with that. But as a general rule, the more citations are after the sentence, the more reliable the information is. So I trust this information fully. What I'll do, I'll go back to my Google Docs and I'll paste this over. Let's try the second one, which is who invented RSI. Mm -hmm. And J. Wallace Wilder Jr. Pretty sure I'm butchering the surname, but still. Again, we have four so the four resources of the all the resources below are agreeing on that uh, this guy here invented the rsi so again this is for me to know that this is factually correct how is rsi calculated and you get some overlap when it comes to the information but we'll deal with that in a few minutes so okay this is giving us the actual formula 
and this is good. Uh, I haven't run this before I hit record, so I'm very curious what perplexity will return for this question here. Popular error size strategies in 2022 include determining trend direction, reversion to the mean trades, and entering the market when error size shows a significant pullback against the trend. Okay, so I won't be fact checking this, but again, these are extremely reliable resources. So I'm happy with what is being sped out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can see that although perplexity does an amazing job, but this is not by any means thin content, but it is just not enough wordage, if it's a word actually, I'm not sure, to sustain a full-on article. So what we'll do, we'll copy this over, we'll go to ChatGPT, and we'll do the following. Write an article on how to use RSI indicator for trading based on the below information. Okay, wish me luck. Mm -hmm. So the relative strength index is a technical momentum indicator developed by Wilder. To calculate the RSI, you first need to determine the average gain and average loss over a given time period. There are several popular RSI strategies that trader used in 2022. Another popular strategy is entering the market with RSI when the RSI shows a significant pullback. So this expands on just bits and pieces that we had before. So let's copy this over and let's just compare. I'm curious to see. So I, I am including the headings obviously, but still. So before we had 256 words, including the headings. And now And now it's 285 words. So not a great achievement. <laughs> Let's try another command. Expand on the above and generate a full 1000 words article. Again, it's talking about the RSI, which is a popular technical indicator. Now it's going about calculations and the formulas. This is the second paragraph. Now it's talking about the strategies. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. It's talking about how to combine RSI with different indicators. Now it seems like it's talking about the pros and cons of RSI and a conclusion. So now it looks more like a complete article. And obviously you can rerun this command as many times as you can. So you can keep expanding and expanding and expanding. And ChatGPT stopped for some reason. Continue the above sentence. So sometimes this happens. But we're not picky. Everything is free, at least for now. It is, um, some people believe that ChatGPT will be a paid tool. However, I know that some of the tools like Write Sonic, Jasper, and Write Cream have already integrated chats into their framework. So okay, let's let's copy this over. Mm -hmm. I'll delete the command that I used. 
So it's more of a complete sentence. You do not have access to upload images. Okay. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. And let's go to word counter once again. And now we have 737 words. So it's not a thousand word article by any means, but again, you can keep expanding and expanding. And hopefully this is very clear how we went just from a few paragraphs from perplexity to using ChatGPT and having generated a full blown article on RSI. And this can be again complemented by additional information, but I think as a proof of concept, it works. So let me know what you think. Enjoy. <laughs> and I'll see you next time.